Carhartt has a lot of products on their website, and sometimes it can be kind of difficult to navigate which one is best for your needs. So in this video, we've taken every single Carhartt jacket that's available today and broken them down by warmth. So we're gonna start at the warmest ones and work our way all the way down to the lightest jackets that they offer. Welcome, I'm Carl Murawski. This is the channel that helps you own better, look better, and live better. Now, I've also made this video into an article if reading through it that way is a little bit easier for you. I've also linked every single jacket that you're gonna hear about today in the description below. So you can go ahead down there and you can check out exactly which one I'm talking about. And there's timestamps below as well. So it should be really easy to navigate through these 34 jackets we're going to rank. Now these warmth test results are based on science. The tests were performed at the CMU Center for Merchandising and Design Technology, where basically this crazy looking mannequin equipped with thermal sensors and even had their ability to perspire, was put into a chamber and then it was measured. Each test was performed a minimum of three times until eventually each garment got a numerical rating. That numerical rating is the one that we're going to use to rank these jackets, and it's also how Carhartt breaks down their jackets into one of the four different warmth ratings that you'll see on their website. Starting with warmth rating number four, extreme warmth, the warmest jacket that Carhartt makes currently is the men's Montana jacket. Now it used to be the Yukon Extreme's parka, but they no longer make that. So that held a clo of two, this men's Montana jacket holds a clo of 1.9. So very, very close. And I gotta tell you, if you haven't experienced the Montana line yet, it's actually really, really nice. I have one of their vests. It's a much loftier insulation, very, very warm. Also lined in that Sherpa lining. It's, they are incredibly warm. So I am not surprised at all that the Montana line takes first spot. Number two is the Super Ducks Insulated Traditional Coat. This is awesome, I actually have this in green and people always think that it's a more dressy option than it actually is. But it's extremely warm, but it certainly doesn't look like it. You don't see a whole bunch of piles of insulation and stuff, but it really is extremely warm. Love this thing. Number three, the High Viz Sherwood Jacket. I love the fact that Carhartt has a High Viz Warm option because any of us who work out in the field know that high-vis stuff is usually garbage. It wears like a garbage bag, it's terrible, but this has everything you could possibly want. It has shoulder straps for your radio, all of the, re the reflective stuff that you need for your job, and it's also really, really warm and waterproof, so, I mean, this kind of checks all the boxes. Number four, the Superdux Insulated Coat. Now this is uh, made out of nylon that's lightweight and strong. It's really great for hiking, fishing, or just walking around, but it's also treated with that DWR finish that they have so it'll shrug off light rain and stuff like that. So a great jacket. Number five, the Yukon Extremes Insulated Active Jack. I said that the Yukon Extremes line was sort of disappearing and this seems to be one of the last holdouts, but I gotta tell you, this thing is Awesome, I have one of these. You can walk through the brush, you never get caught snagged or anything like that, and it's also extremely warm. So I can't say enough about this guy. Number six, the Yukon Extremes Insulated Coat. Now this has a Cordura shell, just like the other Yukon Extreme series. They definitely trade off comfort for durability. These things, you just can't wear them out. And I think this also has an additional hood that you can snap onto it. Moving on to warmth rating, number three, which they call warmest, which of course warmest would mean the most warm, but hey, whatever. With number seven, the FR Duck Active Jack. Now this is made with heavyweight nylon canvas and it's of course FR rated. So again, I give them a lot of credit because those of us who need FR ratings, I'm an electrician and I work in the field, if you need an FR rated piece, you don't want it to be some lightweight kind of wimpy thing. So this is at least a nice heavyweight warm jacket that also has the FR rating. Number eight, the Firm Duck Insulated Jack. This is kind of the classic insulated active jack. So if you need that, you know, very basic, tough as nails, but, um, you know, very, very functional thing, the, the active jack is a classic for a reason. Number nine, the FR Traditional Duck Coat. Now, they're of course, made from their heavyweight duck canvas that's flame resistant. This is a cool combination of FR technology and a more traditional look. Number 10, the Washed Duck Sherpa Lined Jacket. Now this is again made of heavyweight Carhartt cotton duck, but then it's sanded and brushed for softness. And it has that nice Sherpa pile on the inside, so it's also very cozy. And who doesn't wanna be cozy on the job site? Number 11 is an interesting one. This is the new J130 Active Jack. The J130 was a classic. It's the one that everybody knows, but this is the one that's been updated with all of those things that they've learned um, from visiting job sites and talking to people out there. So a lot of really cool stuff. Internal drawstring for the hood closure, a, a 360 degree rotating 
zipper pull, all kinds of very, very thoughtful features that make this one even more functional than its brothers. Number 12, the Super Ducks insulated jacket. Now, of course, this is the Super Ducks line again, but I like this because it's a lot easier to wear. So if you don't need the absolute extreme abrasion resistance, the Super Ducks line is probably what you're looking for. Plus they're available in a bunch of different cool colors and stuff like that, really functional, look fantastic. It's hard to go wrong. Number 13, the duck traditional jacket. So again, this is that heavyweight firm hand duck, which everybody knows Carhartt from. Even when you look at this picture, it looks like the jacket is wearing him. And I gotta tell you, this is the one jacket that I have never seen in the wild. Number 14, the full swing ripstop insulated jacket. Now this is made out of stretch ripstop, which is then quilted uh, for extra warmth and stuff like that. Reinforced with Cordura fabric at the cuff and at the hem for durability. And this used to be known as the full swing steel jacket, in case you remember that name. Number 15, the FR full swing quick duck coat. Now it seems like the quick duck is kind of going away, but that used to be a lightweight yet durable duck that's also water and flame resistant. So it's it's a, a kind of a miracle fabric, I guess, but I'm surprised that it's not more common. It also has stretch panels that allow you to move a little bit more freely. And I just like the layout of this one. It looks traditional, but it also looks modern and it's FR rated. Yeah, I love it. Moving on to the number two warmth rating, which they just call warmer, starting with number 16, the LWD or lightweight durable insulated jacket. Now this thing, I've actually worn this and it is much warmer than it looks. All of those little ridges there that you see, those are like blown in with insulation rather than hanging two pieces of fabric and then stitching them together. So this has a lot of loft and it's a fantastic mid layer. You throw this on beneath your shell layer and if you need more durability, you know, something with maybe like a, a firm duck or whatever, this is awesome. It's gonna keep you warm all day and uh, it also works well on its own if you wanna wear it that way. Number 17, the Rugged Flex Camo Active Jacket. Now this one speaks for itself. It's an active jacket. It's also in camouflage. So a lot of people who, who want this, they know exactly what they're looking for. And this just might be it. Number 18, the Super Ducks Active Jack. So again, the Active Jack is really across all these different lines. And here we are again. The Active Jack is sort of known with the two hand warmer pockets, the hood, and not much else because all this thing is supposed to do is give you the bare essentials that you're gonna need to get through your day. And a lot of people find that this is all they need. There's a reason that I see the Active Jack more than any other jacket on my job sites. Number 19, the Washed Duck Utility Jacket. And in my opinion, one of the best looking jackets that they make. Now this is made with cotton duck, which is also reinforced with Cordura at the wear points around, around the cuffs and uh, it's lined in Sherpa fleece. So, you know, I, again, I think this might be all that many people need, but it also has that nice Cordura lining. If you ever know the Carhartt stuff, you know, a lot of times it frays at the cuffs and it gets kind of stringy. The Cordura is gonna stop all that. So these things should last a long, long time. Number 20, the Rain Defender Lightweight Insulated Jack. This used to be known as the Gilliam Jacket and I have this in its vest form and it was one of my favorite mid layers ever. It's actually surprisingly durable. I thought that this thing would rip and snag and tear. It just didn't. Whatever they're using for a shell material really, really works. And uh, whether you get it in a vest or you get it in a jacket as you see here, it's a great piece. Number 21, the Quick Duck Insulated Traditional Coat. And as I mentioned, the Quick Duck is a fantastic material. It's actually lighter than the traditional sandstone duck, but ounce for ounce, it's just as tough. So this has a smooth quilted lining with a lot of pockets. This also adds two chest pockets as compared to the Active Jack. And uh, you, I think you actually can get a snap-on hood for this as well. Number 22, the Washed Duck Sherpa Lined Coat. Now this is the Carhartt Signature Duck Fabric, but it also has a soft Sherpa lining interior. Basically, if what you want is the Active Jack with a chest pocket and without a hood, this is it. Number 23, the Blanket Lined Chore Coat. This is about as classic as it gets. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this was the first coat that Carhartt had ever offered. There's a reason that you still see the chore coat everywhere, and it's because it is ultimately the most functional pound for pound coat that you can buy. Number 24, the Full Swing Wash Duck Active Jack. So again, another active jack, but this is in their Full Swing and their Washed Duck. So I believe this is a little bit heavier than the Quick Duck, but if you don't want it quite as heavy as the Firm Hand Duck stuff that they have, this is a good middle ground. Number 25, the Snap Front Fleece Jacket. And this jacket is a lot warmer than it looks. But again, this can work just as well as a mid-layer as it can as a standalone layer. Which brings us to warmth rating number one or the lightest jackets that Carhartt offers, starting with number 26, the lightweight packable anorak. 
Now this basically is a packable rain jacket. That's more or less what it's for. And it's nice because you can keep this in the back of your truck, your car, whatever, and just be ready for whatever the day brings you. Number 27, the Rain Defender Lightweight Jacket. This is a perfect rain jacket. My wife actually has one of these in their purple color and she absolutely loves it. It has that sort of mesh lining so you have a little bit of breathability which could be a really big issue with a lot of rain gear. Number 28, the Super Ducks Lightweight Soft Shell Jacket. This is soft shell fabric with built-in flex and water repellency. It's perfect for those days where it's gonna be warm during the day but the nights and the mornings are a little bit cooler. Number 30, the Carhartt Detroit Jacket. My favorite of the bunch, and if you're looking for the jacket that Matthew McConaughey wore in that movie Interstellar, this is the one. This has changed a lot throughout the years, but again, it's one of the oldest models that Carhartt makes. It used to be known as just the zipper jacket, and I have a feeling that it's still not even done evolving. It's probably gonna change even more, but this was my go-to lightweight layer for many years. Number 31, the FR Full Swing Quick Duck Jacket. So here we have again, Quick Duck and FR ratings in a lightweight version. So again, if you're working in a warmer climate or you need something to just kind of throw on to get that FR rating, this works perfectly. Number 32, the Heavyweight Soft Shell Jacket. Now this used to be known as the Crowley Jacket, but this guy right here is their heavyweight soft shell material. So you have a little bit of stretch, a little bit of water repellency, and again, really good for those warmer days. Number 33, their midweight soft shell jacket. This used to be known as the hooded rough cut jacket. And again, it's sort of self-explanatory, midweight soft shell, that's what you get. Number 34, the Super Ducks lightweight mock neck jacket. This is water repellent, wind resistant, and made with lightweight nylon with built-in flex. So it's basically like wearing the lightest layer that you possibly can and still getting that durability and extra storage of all those pockets. Whew, so. That's all 34 men's jackets that Carhartt currently offers. We'll do this again for the women's jackets because I don't wanna leave anybody out. And uh, this hopefully helps you hone in on the jacket that you need most. Again, I know it can be kind of overwhelming when you go to their website and you start looking at all the different options. So I hope that this was helpful. Now we have to do the drawing for last week's winner. If you're not familiar, I've been giving away $100 via Tremendous to a random commenter. And the way you can win is basically subscribe to this channel, comment the key phrase below. Next week, we'll do another drawing just like this. And then I will reach out through a comment and ask you, we'll, we'll basically settle up via email. So keep your eye on your comments and my responses to your comments um, so that I can give you that $100. All right, congratulations. I will be reaching out through a comment and then we can finish up via email. So this week's passphrase is going to be Life is a soup and I'm a fork. Sometimes it sure feels that way, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, comment that below, make sure you're subscribed. Um, I will be checking it. If you're not subscribed and you get picked, well, I'm gonna choose somebody else. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll catch you next time.